10 of my Shadow of the Tomb Raider Let's Play series. Uh, picking up where we left off as usual. I'm trying to remember, did I say Rise or Shadow of the Tomb Raider at the start of the last episode? Huh, I have no idea. Oh well. Why does this still have a exclamation mark about it? I have no idea. I have no idea. Sorry, just... Whatever. <laughs> Not gonna spend over a long, long time on that. Apparently did not have a lot of arrows. All full up. Can't carry any more. All right, let's look around. The map. Oh, ten minutes. Let's see if I can get back to this tomb. Maybe not. Unless does it expect me to me to go all the way around? Can I? Oh, we can't fast travel yet, can we? Nope. Cannot fast travel yet. That blows. All full up. Can't carry any more. All right, then I'll just turn that off. I think I can get back there, though. So let's just continue on. Sorry, if you've watched me for any length of time, even if, like, a series or half a series, you know I tend to meander. As I am going after as much as I can. There are genres that I'm not going to do that for. Like, I do plan on eventually playing... Uh, I have a Star Ocean game in my Steam library that I want to play. That's actually the game that made me start my channel. But because it's a long-form Japanese RPG, I'm not going to be going after 100% in a game like that. Just I would drive myself crazy. And I'm just not... I don't know. 
Games like that aren't fun 100% for me. This camera belongs to the X700 line. Sam had one of those. I was so jealous. It's just the thing you'd want for an expedition to find a lost monument or civilization. This is proof that there were people coming here as recently as the 1980s. Even when modernity scoffs at them, some legends still manage to inspire people. The lens is cracked. Almost looks as though it was hit by a projectile of some type. Alright. Oh. Might as well get this. I was right next to it. Didn't even realize. Nice, nice. You game that much I did now. All right, how do we get up there? challenge tune nearby but can we get into it? If I'm remembering correctly there are some that you just can't get into yet. Just due to lack of tools. of a pook, god of death and ruler of Mitnau, the ninth and most horrible level of the Maya version of hell. One thing a pook enjoyed doing was dressing in putrefying flesh and visiting the surface to prey upon the living. According to legend, the only way to save yourself from him was to scream and yell like you were in unbearable agony. He'd assume you were already being tortured by one of his minions and leave you alone. How appropriate that his harbinger demon was a screech owl named Muon. This might rip. I need to lift the statue somehow. Oh, whoops. Just kind of look at everything. To lift the statue somehow. Thank you, Lara. You don't need to repeat yourself over and over. Oh, now fast travel is unlocked.
All right. Have to remember how to dive there. Those charged with crimes are brought here, and they battle under the watchful gaze of the gods, the only infallible judges. Those proven innocent may leave, but the guilty are killed and thrown to Shabalba. Not a Amazing. Is this a pocket top court? to raise that ladder somehow. Yeah, if there's, like, even this early on. Uh, there's one complaint I have about this game is that, need to raise that ladder somehow. every time you hit Q, which the game tells you to do a lot to find hidden collectibles and stuff like that, she's constantly repeating her Hints. Need to raise that ladder somehow. Like that. So she's constantly re giving hints. It's like the worst parts of the last game. Instead of just relying on the. Instead of just giving you a hint every once in a while. I don't know. And in the moment the gods were satisfied Metnal did not kill his wife, a pelican landed at the accused's feet. This stunned those in attendance. This was a seabird, hardly ever seen this far inland. The representatives of the gods decided to see what the bird meant to do. It circled Metnal, flapping its wings and squawking softly, and then it opened its mouth and a half-eaten fish landed at Metnal's feet. This was understood by all as a sign of Metnal's guilt. And he was quickly executed. Kind of an odd thing, but all right. Need to raise that ladder. Yes, Laura. Thank you. So nothing in the options. Like you can't turn that off at all. Couldn't put an option, survival instincts, hints, off, something. All right. Wait on the left side of the monument. Yes, thank you, Lord Jesus. You can't just let me work things out myself. I need to find a way to lift the ladder. See what I mean? I'm just hitting Q to like find collectibles and things in the environment. But the game just constantly is repeating stuff and just doesn't want to let me figure things out. I don't take this as necessarily like. You need to tether the ladder to something. See? Instead of just letting me figure that out, which I already did, it tells me. <laughs> need to raise the ladder. Thank you, Lara. I didn't realize that all that we need to raise the ladder. 
thought we need to lower the ladder. Alright, well, that was worth a try, but... Thank you, Lara. Twenty third of May. Over a month has passed since our expedition departed from Quiaba. We have consumed our provisions methodically thus far and continue to be in high spirits. Father's age shows when we're on foot. A few times now I have caught Rally looking over his shoulder and back at us to make sure we're still keeping up. Father always returns a look with a smile and saying he'll soon be the one in the lead. Need to raise the ladder. Thank you, Laura. a bit of progress. <clears throat> well, just to clarify, I'm not saying hints are a bad thing here. It's not a bad thing that the game wants to give you some hints, but it should tone it back from every time you hit Q to like every 15th time you hit Q or something. There, hope this ladder isn't as rotten as it looks. In between episodes, I'm gonna see, look up to see if there's a way to turn it off, or at least cut it back. It probably isn't, but one can hope. Because if it wants to place a lot of things like a lot of emphasis on the survivor sense, but then it wants Lara to repeat herself over and over and over while using it, kind of weird. Sorry, I'm just complaining. That's all. Complaining about a game that so far I like. But could do something better. Thank you, Lara. <laughs> that was a weird one. <laughs> All right, nothing else around? No. <laughs> I know the hints mostly come in these tombs, but it's still a bit annoying. <laughs> This 
least one way to get out of team. Sorry, kind of spaced out there for a second. It is unfortunately that time of the episode, everybody. Uh, as usual, thank you everyone very much for watching. I truly appreciate it, and I'll hope to see you next time. All right, bye.